action. What's going on guys? I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to properly load the chest and how to remove more tension from the tricep and put that on the chest muscle itself. So I'm gonna do this on the cable press here. Uh, this translates exactly to dumbbell press. Um, I guess bench press at the same time too. So <clears throat> what I see a lot of people do as a mistake when they set up for any kind of, any kind of bench press is they start the movement off where their ulna and radius are crossing over the humerus when you're giving, you have a tight angle here, right? You have an acute angle. Um, and so when, you're, when you start up moving off here, the first part of the movement is you're actually pressed with the tricep, right? So when you think about chest activation, chest contraction, the chest contracts in an adduction movement, right? So that's pulling the arm over the midline. So if your hand's already partway there, that initial part of the movement's gonna be all tricep, right? So in order to properly load the chest, you wanna start with your arms at a wider angle. And uh, the way I do it actually is I don't even have my radius and ulna cross over my humerus. So I have it actually at a 90 degree angle. So <clears throat> what it'll look like, and again, this translates exactly to a dumbbell press or barbell as well too. So you see right here, my arms, the angle of my arms is 90 degree. And so now the chest is fully, fully stretched. And then when you press out, Notice the angle of my arm does not change. Well, the angle changes, but my, my ulna and radius, my forearm, stays in the same position until I get extended, and then I start to cross over. Boom. So that right there is the proper way to load your chest. Uh, you're gonna find that you, your weights might actually go down, but I promise you're getting more chest activation, more chest contraction. So try that next time, let me know.